Hello everyone and welcome to a new channel, AFC Game by Game. I am going to be reviewing every Arsenal match every week, um, just for you, the fans. Uh, I was at the game today, Arsenal versus Tottenham. It was an absolutely brilliant game. Uh, the atmosphere from the fans was amazing, but I really want to get down to the main point here, which was the actual result and how the team played. Um, going into the game, I thought Tottenham's team was very strong. Obviously, they were missing uh, Clint Dempsey, um, but uh, without them, they still did really well. They were oppressing us for like the first 10 minutes and um, it was kind of inevitable oh, that they would score. And um, when they did, uh, the, the, the celebration by Emmanuel Adebayor was revolting. He kind of jumped into our own fans and celebrated in front of us, which is kind of similar to what he did in, to us in front of Man City. But um, I know what kind of why he did that. He was getting a lot of abuse off the fans, but still that's a really disrespectful uh, thing to do, especially just not to the Arsenal fans, but also to Wenger. He's the one that brought him um, to England and <laughs> made him into the striker that he is today. Uh, and, well, it was just really bad of him. Secondly, there was our goal, the really good goal by Per Mertzaga. It was a brilliant cross from Walcott to get around his man from that really tight angle to cross it into Per Mertzaga and him to get it on his head um, into the net past Hugo Lloris. It was absolutely fantastic. Hugo Lloris did make a few good saves. Don't get me wrong, I think he is a good player. Uh, he just didn't have a great game today, although he did make some good saves and he did show to us why he's France's number one. And now there's a second goal. This was scored by Lucas Podolski. It was a great goal. He got around two men and poked it in. Um, I, Hugo Lloris, this is probably where he should have done better. He didn't go for the ball at all. He just stood there. But um, there was no real speed on the shot. It was just uh, well placed. So I can un kind of understand why he didn't get to it. Um, but it was again. Let's give a lot of praise to Lucas Podolski. He played very well today, and he gave 110% throughout the whole match. Uh, our third goal was very shortly after that, scored by Olivier Giroud. This was a brilliant goal. He was marked by two men, and uh, got to give a lot of credit to Santa Carzola. He went around a lot of people to do this, and he showed again why he's classy today. He is way back on form. He was absolutely fantastic. He got round, crossed it in, and Giroud poked it home. Um, going into the second half, I thought we were very confident. That you could tell with the fans, there was a massive buzz going into half-time. Uh, coming out, um, it was brilliant. Uh, maybe not as exhilarating as the first half, because um, the fans kind of knew we were going to win. Um, and then Cazola, in the 60th minute, poked home that really good ball from Podolski. I didn't initially think he was going to get to it, but uh, with his short little leg, he poked it home and it was a really good finish. He is an absolutely class player. He's a true asset to our team. Him, Wilshere and Arteta are three class midfielders. That is one of the best midfielders you're ever going to see in this Premier League. Um, the goal by Gareth Bale uh, was a good goal, especially as it was on his weaker foot. It was a mere consolation for Tottenham, though. It was a good goal, um, but uh, it didn't really mean anything to them. It, but uh, don't get me wrong, I did think it was a good goal. Uh, the In the like 84th minute when Chamberlain came on, that was really influential to our team. It gave a lot of boost to the um, tiring players, especially Walcott as he got to play in his central position, which he really wanted. And I could tell he was looking a lot more confident in the central position, especially when he scored. Um, this goal was really good. Chamberlain got around a few men, poked it um, through one of the players' legs, did a little nutmeg, ran through, went around another man, and then crossed it into Walcott, who made a fine finish of it. It was a true striker's finish, and I honestly think Wenger should consider playing him as a centre forward. I don't really know um, where he'd fit in now, considering Podolski also wants to play centre forward. But personally, I think he is actually quite good on the left flank. I would like to see him play as a striker every now and then. But um, Giroud, I don't really know how you can take him off. Maybe if you play a 4-4-2 formation. But then you've got players coming back like Diaby, Rosicki. Uh, I don't know how you're going to fit them all in that midfield. When we got all our players back, especially Gibbs, I think he's truly influential in defence. We did let, um, especially the first goal, uh, Mertzak was about five metres away from his man. But don't get me wrong, he has been our best defender so far this season. So was Vermaelen. Um, I reckon when uh, that, that back four of Sanya, Mertzaka, Vermaelen and Gibbs is back, we will be amazing. Um, that defence will just be solid, solid as ever. Um, well, thanks for watching this. Uh, this is AFC Game by Game and I am going now. So, uh, bye.